But the whole time we were in business, the year 2000 was our highest grossing year. And 2001 was, was on course to be bigger than that. So we were coming in September, and it was a Tuesday. I remember the sea of people walking up Lafayette Street. The store wasn't open. We were just there. And like people wanted to use the phone, or some people would splash water on their face. But I remember a dude coming in, like going, you have the new, you have the new Dylan? And I was like, I'm like, do you know, like, do you see what's going on all around you? We saw the top of the South Tower crack off and fall from my building, and then we ran upstairs. So we turned on the disintegration loops really loud, just went up on the roof and sat there looking at this new landscape. William came in with disintegration loops, a CD made as a response to 9-11, and it utterly blew my mind. Basically, it's like a tape loop that, as it winds its way through the tape player, it, the magnetic tape would kind of like flake off. So as it goes along, it's always subtly changing with every turn of the reel. Each melody just fell away in its own time, in its own way, and somehow managed to retain the very core of what made it special. And then the fact that I had managed to record the life and death of these melodies to me was an incredibly profound thing.